Welcome everyone, it is Jack here. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a DIY project. Uh, I'm in college at the moment and it's a college project. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for quite a while now and that is build a sub kick from scratch. So I'm going to be doing a step by step on how I'm going to be building the sub kick, what I'm going to need to build the sub kick and then we're also going to be doing a sound demo at the end so stick around for that. Okay, so we don't need too much uh, for this project. All we need is an old speaker cone. Uh, big up Kent from Factory Music Rooms for helping me out with that. We need some uh, wire cutters. We need soldering iron. We need some solder. And of course, we need an XLR cable. So the first step is removing the female adapter. So we have our standard XLR cable here with our male adapter and our female adapter. So the male adapter is what's going to be going into the interface. Um, but in order to actually make this sub kick, we don't need the female adapter. So that is going to be coming off. So we don't need that anymore. Okay, so step two, we now have our exposed cable here. We're gonna grab our wire cutters and we're just gonna take a little bit off the end of this. Okay, so what we're left with now is this kind of exposed cable at the end here. We've got our red cable and our white cable. So usually red is positive and white is negative. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, strip these two here and then we can start wiring it up to the speaker. So there we have it. If it can focus. We've exposed both those copper wire inside here. So now, Let's get on to putting these into the speaker. Okay, so we have our speaker cone here. So if we have a look, we've got our positive and we've got our negative there. So usually what would happen is that the positive cable would go to the positive terminal and the negative cable will go to the negative terminal. Uh, that would be in a usual speaker's case. But what we're doing here we are reversing the polarity of it. So what we are gonna do is essentially do that in opposite. So we're gonna be putting positive to negative and negative to positive. And that's how we will achieve our subkick microphone. Okay, folks, so here we are. We're at the next step now. So we've got our soldering iron here. We're gonna be turning that on. We've got Tim Spear helping us out here. Hello. Yep. <laughs> We're getting ready to do it. Well, that, this is where the yeah. magic happens, yeah. So we can actually test this now. All right. So here we have it. We've got the sub kick, so Tim's just tapping it now. And as we can see, we have signal. So that means that we must have done it right. So now let's put it to the test and do some recording with it. Microphone check-in. This is Jack's sub bass speaker. And we've now got a microphone instead of a speaker. We've got it. Woo! <laughs> it's too, too much money to be a... Okay, so now we're just setting it up. We're going to be putting it on a regular snare stand. Uh, nothing special, just something so that we can record with it, so it's nice and set up. Okay guys, so that was the sound test. I think it's turned out pretty well. Uh, just want to give a couple of shout outs. Obviously I want to give a 
couple of shout outs to Lee and Tim at college for helping out with this. It was a really fun project to do. Also, big up to Henrik on uh, on the camera. Also, Jake, who uh, recorded my drums and uh, did a bit of mixing on them as well. So, uh, yeah, that is my little sub kick video. As I say, just a fun little project. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And uh, hopefully it helps some others if uh, you're wanting to make something similar and uh, save a bit of money on the way. So, yeah, cheers, guys. See you in the next video.